What is going on lovely people? In today's video I'm going to show you how to install serum presets, serum skins and wavetable packs. So let's get into it. So what you need to do first is you need to install some serum presets that you want to use. I've got a pack from Loop Masters as you can see over here. It's a completely free pack and you can go over to their website and download this one too. But just find a pack of serum presets and download them. Then once you've got them downloaded on your computer all you have to do is right click and and click extract all if you're on Mac all you're gonna do is double click and it will use the native zipping program to unzip all your files so I'm just gonna right click extract all and then boom it will open up another folder with your presets in here now what you need to do is you need to take this folder and pop it in the serum presets folder so to find that we're gonna open up serum in Ableton we're gonna click menu and then we're gonna go over to show serum presets folder clicking this will open up a magical folder here where you can find your presets and then you can go ahead and find that folder that was just opened then all you need to do is go over to the user and then you need to drag that in there and then once that's all copied over all you have to do is go back into serum and click rescan folders on disk it's extremely important that you do this step then you're going to want to use these presets of course so you're going to do it in the exact same way you would with normal presets you go into the preset browser to user and they will show up there under loop masters free serum presets now what about if you want to install custom wavetables? Well let me run you through that process and it's pretty much the exact same process but you have to find a different folder in Serum. So you're going to actually need a wavetable pack to pop into Serum first so download one of your choice. I'm using Organic Orange Sorbet which is a free Foley wavetable pack which can be found on www whipcreamsounds.com or in the link in the description box below then you're going to take this folder you're going to right click click extract all and then it's going to extract it to another folder over here then you're going to go back over to serum you're going to click menu again and you're going to show serum presets folder then you're going to open the tables folder instead and you're going to drag and drop this file that you just extracted so i'm going to drag and drop that over here then you're going to go over to the menu option click reset scan folders on disk and then to use these presets all you have to do is click the normal preset browser and boom you've got the wavetable pack right there now what happens if you want to install skins to make your serum look an extra bit spicy well you're going to follow the same process and you're going to go to menu then you're going to go to show serum presets folder now instead of going to the tables or the presets you're going to click these skins and as you can see, I've already got default Prometheum and a Serum Ableton skin. You're going to do the exact same thing as you did before. So you're going to download a skin of your choice. Then you're going to extract it and drag that folder over here. Once you've dragged that folder over here, you're going to go to menu. Then you're going to rescan folders on disk. And you're going to go up to this little Serum logo in the corner. Click skin and boom. It looks absolutely amazing, but it's not better than this bonus tip I'm going to give you right now, which is to go down to the description, click the like button, turn it a crisp blue and put a smile on my face if this did help you out. If it didn't, hit the dislike button and uh, yeah, no hard feelings, man. Also, if you are looking for more in-depth tutorials on music theory, sound design, all those types of things, I've done loads on Mr. Carmack, Sam Galatri, Medicine, and I've dissected individual tracks and explained the music theory behind them, all with neat graphics and nice things like that. They're over on the website, which I'll link in the description below. And also, I'm going to be making YouTube videos on them as well. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That's it for today's video. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.